Welcome to everyone who is currently part of the UWC community and also to those who have left our campus but still remain interested in our progress and in our position on the education landscape of our nation. UWC has done wonderfully well over the past five years. Our research standing now places us among the nation's research-intensive universities leading South Africa in several fields. Our efforts at building excellence in teaching and learning have resulted in five national awards. And in the area of sustainability, we have twice been voted Africa's greenest campus since the awards was first introduced in 2012. Much of this remarkable success is the result of the focusing and the harnessing effect of the last Institutional Operating Plan, or the IOP as we call it. It is true that we have done well, but we cannot afford to stop there. We need to keep the momentum going and we need to keep moving forward. As we work together, we need to focus on the future and together we must harness our energy so that we can create a purpose and a framework that will carry us through to 2019. Where to start? Right here with the green paper that you have received. This document will be the basis of our envisioning and our discussions. The development of this paper is critical if we are to respond and not merely to react to the social, technical and academic challenges facing our society. We need strategies and we need vision because we know that resources always follow vision and not the other way around. Once our vision and our strategies are cast, then we can all work together to implement our goals. UWC's dedication is to excellence in an intellectual project which is critically and ethically committed to national transformation and social justice. We have a voice and it is our responsibility to add that voice to the global issues of our time. As I said in my inaugural address, a university has to be an unapologetically intellectual community with an ongoing interest in the significance of knowledge for our country and for our world. We are living in a demanding time. Technology has changed the way we live and work and UWC is committed to responding to the environment that we currently live in. That is why this green paper is such an important document, allowing us to contribute to development in an excellent, relevant and responsive manner. The Green Paper therefore has two areas of focus, skilledness and skillfulness. Skilledness is necessary for academic achievement and for each student's efficacy as a researcher, scholar and intellectual. Skillfulness is the ability to engage, adapt, innovate and to take responsibility for own learning and progress. As always, attaining learning goals is deeply affected by the way in which we teach, raise expectations and create spaces for students to be responsible and engaged learners. We need to build on our record of excellence in teaching and learning. In our changing environment, skilledness and skillfulness must be facilitated by the imaginative use of digital media. Every day, our world changes as a direct result of technological innovations. Our world is fast moving and ever changing. We must work together to see the opportunities that this new environment presents and the changes it requires of us. We also need to expand and enrich the co-curricular activities on campus to broaden intellectual horizons and help developing enabling social capital. 
Our dream for excellence in a media-driven society needs practical ideas on how we can improve social and cultural life on campus while maintaining our academic status. I look forward to joining you in critical and creative discussions of these central issues in preparing the IOP. This is our way forward and I will journey with you because the future depends on what we envision in this paper. UWC is now positioned as one of South Africa's leading research intensive universities. We have grown very fast. Times Higher Education released its first ranking of African universities for research influence. There are eight South African universities among the top 15, with UWC in seventh position. It is crucial that we consolidate, sustain and enhance this position, taking our best research to the next level and pay attention to the areas where we are vulnerable and are not doing so well. We are in a highly competitive environment and need to keep on our toes in seeing and using our opportunities, both intellectual and practical. Being successful isn't enough. We need to be seen to be leading and successful. Academics have a responsibility to let the public know the significance of what they are doing. And then there is the global knowledge economy. The major challenge to universities around the globe is to play a growing role in this economy. A key element, therefore, is innovation, getting into international partnerships, both for making available research-based solutions to social and technical problems, but also for the generation of new knowledge. At every stage, your input is critically important to us. I am so glad to be joining you at this stage in addressing these challenges and taking us forward. Having seen the bigger picture, the vision and the significance of cooperation in, this, in the discussions surrounding the Green Paper, there is one challenge we still have not spoken about. This challenge affects us all. We need to join our creative ideas and discussions concerning our physical environment. Historically, we were put in the bush, on the outskirts of the city. Now we are in the physical center of metropolitan Cape Town, but still we remain isolated. We need to connect to the mainstream life of the city and the region, both to improve the learning and research environment and to contribute most effectively to the economic life of the region. A lot of hard work is being done to make this happen. Please also contribute your thoughts and ideas to the discussion on the transformative project so that together we can create a truly post-apartheid space. Fellow UWC people, yes, we face some challenges, some frustrations, and a few limitations. But nothing overshadows the exciting potential and opportunity of change that is right ahead of us. Together we can create our future. Together we can envision what is still to come. We are creating a blueprint, and this will be our document, a combined effort to keep UWC leading the way in study transformation and change. Get involved, join the discussion. This green paper is just the start. We all have a lot to do.